If you stayed aboard your ship while in port, what would you do? It's our final day aboard Navigator of the Seas, and I decided to find out what it was like to skip port. Later tonight, we also go to Crazy Quest Game Show, but this time with a twist. In the morning, we wake up for a sunrise, and in today's video, I have a big announcement. All that and more, so it's time to wake up. Good morning and welcome to Ensenada, Mexico. We're back here again, one of our favorite places to visit here in California. But today, I'm gonna be honest, I think we're gonna take the day off. We're not gonna get off. Uh, we're just gonna kinda chill, enjoy the ship for what it is. I did wanna just give a shout out to the radiance in the background, which is super overexposed, but it's there, promise. It's right there. You can kinda see the whale tail over there in the background, but Carnival Radiance, one year ago, we were on the Carnival Radiance and we made a big announcement in that video when we were here in Ensenada, and that was the name change of Good Morning Adventure, which is so crazy. That was one year ago. Things have changed so much in that year, and things are going to change so much in the next year. It's kind of almost like this might be a tradition. Every uh, December around this time, we make some big changes. Just yeah. thought, I, just just thinking about that as I was looking at the Radiance. It's been a long time since we've been on her. Both of these ships are fantastic. It's good to be back in Ensenada, though we are not getting off. Uh, Maybe next time. I'm sure we have something pretty plan pretty cool planned for the next time we're in Ensenada. When that is, you'll find out eventually. So let's go ahead and just kind of chill out and hang out for a while. Enjoy our last day aboard. Walked in the windjammer and found my little sister and papa. By the way, it's my little sister's birthday. Technically not today, but it is our last day of the cruise, so we're celebrating it. It's uh, tomorrow. Yeah. It'd be kind of weird to say happy birthday and get off the ship. So that's why we're celebrating today. So happy birthday, Alyssa. Thank you. <laughs> Also, Windjammer breakfast looking pretty good today. Smoked salmon, always my favorite. If you know, you know. Breakfast is done, and now the grandparents are people watching. Also, just a heads up, the full hour of 12, there is not a single thing planned. Not a single thing planned, Corey. Nothing at the hour of 12. Not a single thing is planned at the hour of 12. I have plans for this ice cream. I was just laying back with an ice cream in hand. Corey already finished his. As we were sitting hanging out, got a notification. It's not goodbye, it's see you later. Close. Nice try though. But yeah, we're just hanging out here up on the pool deck, just sitting, chilling, and it's about time when the, the Royal Caribbean app gives you the notification to start putting together your departure details. We'll talk about that later tonight. Um, I don't even want to think about it right now, but I saw that and the, uh, Corey, gave Corey and I a good laugh. Because uh, obviously, if you've been to the end of the videos, you know how the outro goes. You know how it's supposed to go. You'll hear it later if you haven't heard it yet. Nice try, Royal Caribbean. Nice try. Welcome to Schooner Bar for Motown we Music we Tunes. I don't know songs. what we're going to do with this. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's not my, my stronger uh, music no, genres, but no, I do know a lot no, of music, so we'll see. I think we might surprise ourselves, but we're looking forward to flag trivia because we're nerds. Well, actually, he is. Nope. Go for one. Marvin Gaye. Finally, let's go. This is a song number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were doing so good, Corey. The decided last to leave. Song. <laughs> so good. He's come back and he has pizza now and Starbucks. And it's so good. You actually had one of them right and then you scratched it and wrote the wrong oh. thing. No. <laughs> Better luck next time. Easy. Take a look at it. <laughs> Take a pause. How many countries can you get? Yes. There's 30. We'll let and you know how many we get. Total 30 countries. And the only 20. How many we think so Corey's going to get? Write down in the bag. I think I could most of them. I think I could get one, two. And your time is ready to start. Remember, you guys have 15 minutes. Write down. I'd all probably the get about 17 of them personally. Back. So that's my guess. We'll see what Corey gets. He's going. Oh my gosh, he's actually going. Okay, in one go, Corey just constantly writing. How many did you miss? Like, did you not get an answer? Uh, there's three that I have to go back on. Three. Out of the 30. So he just was, ca he kept writing. So what is it? We got like maybe two minutes, two minutes in, and he's, he's already got it all. I told you, I'm good at this. This is this is where I shine. And the last one is Italy. Italy, okay, so I missed. Now, check all your answers and your score. I got 26, so I was right. 
got done with the flag trivia and Corey carried the heck out of it. Well, he, he solely won and got the prizes as well, but uh, it was fun. It was fun watching Corey know things. I don't get to see that very often. I know some things. <laughs> Anyways, we're walking through the casino right now because it's closed. Normally we can't record in the casino, so that's why we never talk about the casino. I don't like donating too much money to Royal Caribbean, so that's why we're never here. But in port, it's closed. So if you decide to stay on like we do and you're a gambler, Sorry, uh, just sleep in for the day, right? Stay up all night, sleep in and pour it, because there's just, uh, just nothing to know. do. One less thing you can do when you stay on board, which it's kind of feeling like they need more things to do on board when you stay aboard. One thing that is happening is football today. Oh man, a lot of people are here for football. That is so crazy. Playmakers is like filled. And across the way too. Welcome back to the Windjama. I'm going to just take a look for lunch real quick because we didn't go yesterday. Actually, I rarely go to the Windjammer. Okay, so mainly they got international flavors, the desserts. Do have some American stuff like the hot dogs, hamburgers, and they have live cooking. But it's pretty much the same as day one. So, But you already know we have to get a stir fry. It's kind of like a Stephen special. One thing I do like about port days is that Windjammer becomes a lot less crowded. I wasn't here yesterday, but I can only imagine how busy it was yesterday. Typically, the buffet is a really popular place during sea days because it's one of the only few restaurants you can go to. Hard to get in, hard to find a seat, but on, on port days, it's just so easy to get in. It was a quick process to get your food. Other than we did have to wait for the stir fry, but you know what? Always worth it, I think, in my opinion. Some teriyaki sauce with some egg noodles. Doesn't get much better than this, typically. When it's made fresh for you, it's always better. And when you have a view like this, it's always better too. <sighs> Just coming back to the room to grab a few things and oh my gosh, tomorrow is debarkation day. Got our luggage tag, envelope for tips, and our debarkation sheet. So look, on debarkation day, there's a few things you can do. We'll do the whole luggage spiel right now. Get it out of the way. There's a few ways you could deal with your luggage. One is you do the self debarkation, which is you take your luggage, yourself and you walk it off the ship tomorrow fantastic for three night cruises like this one where you're probably not bringing too much luggage but maybe on a week or longer than that you're gonna have a bigger luggage and it's gonna be a little inconvenient to deal with they have the traditional method which they will come and collect your luggage the night before debarkation so so say tonight at around 10 p.m you're gonna have to have your luggage out and the crew will collect your luggage, store it for you, and you will meet it back in the port the next day. Usually is a great thing when you have a lot of luggage and you don't have to deal with it in the morning of debarkation. Because sometimes, you know, when you go to breakfast, you know, you go do whatever, you, your last moments, you don't want to have your luggage. It's a great method, especially if you have larger luggage or a lot of luggage to deal with. Thankfully, like I said, three nights are really easy. So tomorrow we're going to walk off our luggage. It's going to be super easy and super fine to deal with. So this luggage tag for me useless let me know for those of you who have been watching me for a while i've been explaining this at the end of every single cruise have i gotten better at this have i gotten more streamlined quicker let me know i really want to know so I've, I've done this spiel quite a few times maybe i could be the cruise director explaining this who knows all right let back out there flash forward to a few hours the sun has set on our time here in ensenada they're pulling in the gangways and getting ready to let go of the line soon we made it over to General Knowledge Trivia, which I didn't know was such a popular trivia. How many Billboard number one hits did Elvis have? Who was the first American Idol winner? What was his name? Who sang the famous song, My Heart Will Go On? Who was the first woman ever inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? So we got an 8 out of 21 in general knowledge trivia, which means that generally we have no knowledge. Uh, don't ask us for anything because we probably won't know. But we do know that we get to see Carnival Radiance sail away. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain James. Hope you had a wonderful day in sunny Ensenada. 
We are preparing to get underway with our voyage towards Los Angeles. I expect to be alongside tomorrow morning in Los Angeles by 6.30 a.m. On behalf of the officers, staff, and crew, thank you for sailing with us on board the beautiful Navigator of the Seas. Enjoy your evening. This is Captain James. Welcome to dinner. Tonight is the taste of Italy. Some pretty basic starters and main courses. I think the main thing on the main courses to me has always been the Parmesan, chicken Parmesan that is, but of course for me without the Parmesan. As we were eating dinner we just randomly saw Crown Princess come into port. I don't know why they're coming in so late. I can guess a million different things, I'm not really sure, but hi Crown. Also Corey's out there taking pictures of stuff. He's actually skipping dinner tonight. Dinner tonight was a good way to end the cruise. Still didn't record much, but I did capture us singing happy birthday to my sister Alyssa. Make a wish. I'm doing video, so make a wish. Three, two, one. Yay! Last dinner, check. Always one of those sad feelings when you walk out the dining room for the last time of a cruise. But anyways, night's not over. Just want to go out. We're actually traveling at a decent speed because we've been going like literally five miles an hour the whole cruise. Does it feel like we're going fast? We're currently going about 18 knots, which is about 21-ish miles per hour. So, it's a nice change of pace. But also, we don't want to get home too fast, so yeah, let's slow the ship down a little bit. So earlier, I mentioned announcements at this time of year. Always seems to be announcements. Last year, this time, we announced the change from Stephen Pong Vlogs to Good Morning Adventure to dedication to all the family, friends, and everyone that's been a part of the journey because it's me and everyone else and even you guys as well. But this year is a completely different announcement. Things are definitely changing on the channel. As those of you who have been following around, you know things are changing. I'm not really to talk about all the negative. I really want to focus in on the positive. It's the end of the year. We're looking forward to 2024. And I just want to say that things aren't going anywhere. I still love cruising. I still love vlogging. I love doing this every day that I can. So that is my promise to you that I will wake up every day next year trying to put out the best possible content that I can. None of that is changing. In fact, it's going to get better. First off, to start off the year in January, we're doing Norwegian Bliss to the Panama Canal from Los Angeles to Miami. We've never done a cruise longer than seven days. We've never done Norwegian and we've never done a Panama Canal cruise and I'm so excited for that cruise, but that doesn't just stop there because we're also going to be doing Icon of the Seas, the biggest, the best ship from Royal Caribbean coming out next year. We're not going to do the inaugural, I'm sorry, it's just not possible, but we're going pretty soon after in early March, so I'm excited about that. Is bigger, better? We'll find out in that series. Then right after, we're going to go on Wonder of the Seas, which is the current slash former largest cruise ship in the world. We're going to see the difference. Is the newer Icon better than the slightly older Wonder? We'll figure that out in that series. And in addition, we haven't forgotten about Carnival. Carnival Frenzy, the brand new ship that is coming to Long Beach, my home port. We are gonna be doing that. We're doing the inaugural one week sailing April 25th and I am so excited for that. So cruising is not stopping. I hope that with everything that's changing that you continue to join me in my journey and my love to share with you guys everything that we're up to on board these cruises. I know there's a lot in question. I'm still questioning a lot of things, but I'm not trying to focus on the negative. We're just trying to focus on the positive. And so I hope that you continue to join me. Thank you guys so much. The next thing we're doing in this vlog is Quest. Now, I know that we've done Quest in the past, but let me tell you that this time we got something a little special that I think you're gonna wanna stay around for. So let's go. If you're an adult, and you love Royal Caribbean, you know what time it is. It's Crazy Quest. I'm gonna try this. I've always watched it from the sidelines, but I think I'm gonna try and be one of the captains. We'll see. You need to look to your 
team's team captain and get help from them. The first team that comes to me and shows me their team number and either what I'm looking for or to do what I'm asking for, they're going to receive five points. Okay? That is the aim of the game, is to be the first one here. Do we understand? Your first quest, I want to see your team number and a copy of today's Cruise Compass. Go! I can't see from all the way over there. real currency, but it is not the USD. Go! Team 6! No! Team 2! Team 1! Team 5! Team 4! Team number and 4 shoelaces out of the shoes and tied together. Let's go! I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. That is way more effort and energy than I thought it took. Steven's tired right now. He's winded. Quest, crazy quest, is crazy. There's a reason why I only show like a quarter of it. I probably showed more of it because I was in it, but oh my gosh. It's not what the channel's about, but it was a lot of fun. And it just goes with the theme of change. You know, we're talking about change today, and that was something completely different. And it was a lot of fun. It was worth it. When I got out, though, I had no energy. My voice doesn't exist. There's no more voice. And it's still young. Got invited out for drinks. Why not? Probably not. But why not? It's the next morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It is the final, final day, debarkation day. I honestly don't even remember what I recorded last night, what was last, but what I do know is it's the next morning. One thing I didn't know is that we actually pull into this port backwards. I've never actually woken up from one of these, so I'm kind of glad that we get to share a good morning together. We haven't done that for a long time on this channel. Now that we're all tied off, I think it's time for us to actually head back to the room and pack. I uh, didn't do that part. One of the luxuries of doing the self-assist is you get to keep your luggage throughout the night. Obviously the downfall is that I have to keep the luggage this morning and all that stuff, but it's okay because we forgot to pack last night. We would not have gotten out by 10 o'clock. We would not have gotten the luggage out by 10 o'clock. We were too busy to do it with so many other things, even though we didn't show much on the... I don't think we showed much last night, but we wouldn't have made it anyways. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to the room, back to our inside cabin, and just finish up packing so we can pretty much get off the ship. Blasted Monday. It's not fun to see it on a regular day, but definitely not fun to see it on this cruise. Alrighty, so we went over to Windjammer. I didn't take the camera. I just grabbed food and a drink so I can get in, get out. It's currently about 7.20. We have about 40 minutes until 8 o'clock to play with the room. Then after 8 o'clock, then we have to get out and everything. Everyone's just trying to get breakfast and trying to get it quick. That's why the Windjammer is so popular. Of course, the dining room is open, but it's much slower. And Cafe Promenade, but it's much less. Those are the options you have for breakfast. Not bad, in my opinion. I went with buffet for convenience and um, just quickness, just like everyone else did. So I'm going to eat real quick, then we'll just get on with it. Breakfast is pretty much the same as every other day it's been on board. I'm sorry we didn't show much of Windjammer, but one, I wouldn't have really been able to show you. It would have just been a bunch of people crowding around a bunch of different trays. I'm sorry. It's just how that goes. That's why I usually am not that great at showing the buffet. So my apologies on there, but oh well. <laughs> I can't really do much about it. We finished up breakfast and it's time to head out. It's almost 8 o'clock. I cannot believe it's already over and that we're about to walk off the ship. But I love this room. Absolutely love this room. The position was perfect. The uh, cabin with the new furniture was fantastic. And I honestly enjoyed staying by myself, having my own room to go to not having to share with anyone. Cruise cabins are quite tight, you know, two people, three people, four people. 
sometimes gets a little hectic, so one person was just... It was a different luxury that I've never experienced, and I did quite enjoy it. Will I do that again? We'll see. If only the future knows. Thank you so much, Cabin. I appreciate it. So much good rest. But now it's time to hit the deck. It's time to get off. And the line wraps all the way around. Somewhere down the line Where it's unsaid Will they undermine Try your right Goodbye, Navigator. We'll see you again real soon. Alrighty, we're off the ship. Thank you so much for joining me all the way to the end. We did just meet Shirley, by the way, a longtime fan. She has run into all of my family, and I did not get to meet her until in the parking lot at the end of the cruise. So I'm sorry about that, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you all of you who have watched all the way to the end. It means so much to me. I have one more piece of news for you guys, and that is we are sunsetting the Navigator of the Seas vlogs. I love Navigator. It's still my favorite ship. It's basically a second home, but we've done it enough. Doesn't mean that I'm never gonna come back to Navigator because it's still my home ship, but when I do, it will be just to enjoy the cruise. Sad, but exciting because we have so many more adventures planned. Thank you for all my family and Corey for being along with me on this journey. Though they've been intermittent throughout the adventure, they were still always around. Thank you so much for being with me the entire time. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon. <laughs>